Okay, let's install a WordPress website. Now, having set up hosting, I've been sent this email, so let's check it out. Da, 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 da. Here we go. You can access your cPanel at bling. Um, the one important thing I'll say at this stage is um, wait until your proper URL works. Um, you see I clicked on a link there that was um, an IP address. Make sure that the URL that you use works first, so that might take 24 hours. Um, the URL I bought was swindonchurch.com, so um, before you um, use WordPress, make sure that works. Okay, so I've gone into cPanel, and uh, the smiley face is the only icon I'm interested in. The smiley face of Fantastico Deluxe, which is uh, a really cool thing that will help you install WordPress without any issues, hopefully. Let's click on WordPress. So this is in Fantastico Deluxe now, and one of the options is new installation of WordPress. This is the simplest way to install WordPress uh, on your website, on your uh, web space. Um, so let's leave the directory blank because we want it to be our main website. Um, and just type in whatever uh, username and password you want here. So I'm just going to have Swindon Church, uh, easily memorable. Um, and I'm going to add my own email address here, which means that any changes made to the website will get automatically emailed to me, hopefully, uh, depending on how HostGator operates. Hopefully that will be the case. Okay, so I'll just click Continue, and then we'll just click Finish Installation. And it appears to have worked. So uh, now what we'll do is go to our web page, which it was uh, swindonchurch.com, which is the, the, uh, the URL that I bought. And let's just see if it's worked. SwindonChurch.com. Hit return. Okay, there we go. Now that is the default installation of WordPress. It looks pretty grim. Um, there's all sorts of WordPress um, themes available. Just Google WordPress theme, or you can install the diocese one that's uh, on this memory stick.